goodness hello and welcome back to my youtube channel as i'm see as i'm certain you will see in the video my kids are up and talking and oh my gosh i've asked them several times please be quiet it's not happening so this is the look that i came up with well there's no lot coming up with there's not a whole lot but this is a look <laughs> this is what i did with my 80 dollars worth of products and if you'd like to see how i got it stay tuned and yeah that's about it i was just going to say don't forget to subscribe click that like button hit the comments hit the comments hit them just hit the, the, hit the comments comment down below if there's any, you have any questions i will i will uh, I will try to remember to leave all the, you know, products I use down below, but I'm thinking I probably will forget. So <laughs> I'm going to remember it, I swear. <laughs> anyway, just a quick introduction. I just wanted to introduce the video and yeah, that's about it. Now on with the show. Okay, so. As you can see, I've already put on, I do this every time. Okay, so, <laughs> foundation and concealer, and that's about it. Oh yeah, primer. <laughs> you can't see the primer though. Oh my goodness. Uh, I look like, I look like a I look like a But we have not quite set our under eyes because one of the things that I bought with my $10 allowance, <clears throat> sorry, is a concealer stick. This one is by Wet n Wild and it is a contour concealer stick, my bad. Contour stick, oh my gosh. Holy cow, my head is that way. <laughs> and this is in the shade 806, I believe. Yep, and, uh, <laughs> Where's Walnut? <laughs> I like to go, I think this is their darkest shade. It's probably more for, obviously, people of darker skin. Um, I probably, I don't think a person of too dark skin could use this, but up to a medium. I know, yeah, they need to work on shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, everybody knows that. But you can... You might think as fair as I am that this might be a little dark for me. Honestly, I have the other product that just fell. Hold on. You might think that this is a little dark for me, but honestly, you'll see. I've used this before. Um, it's a fifth or new one. I should just save money and just, yeah, use the one I've already bought. But, ah, uh, no. Yeah, looking a little rough this morning. My apologies. Holy cow. <sighs> Age is coming up. Catching up with me. Oh my lord. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and contour with this. I like to basically just a little line each side and it's totally even <laughs> totally totally not uh, life we're just gonna pretend it's even yeah that's what we're doing that's what we're doing this time i'll show you how it blends with a blender but since we only have the one brush i didn't want to muddy it with um you know liquid makeup and then powder afterwards so when we get another brush i will show you how it blends with the brush looking back and forth from mirror to viewfinder to make certain or camera i should say to make certain that you guys can see what i'm doing see i think it blends in nicely yeah i really do like this and for four bucks there's not much you can complain about. I mean, really? Honestly, I think I took this a little low. <clears throat> I've been just cleaning that up lately with a little bit of concealer. And since this is our one of our two concealers that we have now, 
Cannot wait till next week's video. We get to up the ante on what we're using. And use some, just some better products on certain things. You know, because we went as cheap as we can get it. And we've been using as cheap as we can get it. So, yeah, that looks good. Not great, good. All right, <clears throat> normally this is where I would just shut off the camera and finish my makeup. However, one of the products, one of the other things, so I bought two. I bought the contour stick and then one other thing. And that is coming up in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face real quick. And one day I will learn how to, you know, do the fast forward thing. We're getting there, we're getting there. Have patience with me. We're getting there. Yeah, brows. What? Brows? No, I have brows. I have brows for days, but they're just, just everywhere. As always, I like to go up underneath the eyes. One of the aforementioned products that I plan to get a better one of. I'm not saying this is bad by any means. Just want a bit better. All right. <clears throat> now that face is all done, and I will say, <clears throat> if ever I were to do a really complicated look that had a lot of pigmented shadows, I always do. I have been doing my eyes first and then my face, but this one will not have a lot of it shouldn't have a lot of fallout. So, even though I am going to go a little bit more complicated than usual, doing a little bit different, we're just going to see what we can do. After all, there's some pinks. There's a very slightly red shade. That's part of the pink family, I guess, that I mentioned. There's a coppery. There's a dark, deep brown. There's a, like a butter shade. You've seen it. I've shown you, but I will show you again. Okay, got our eyes all primed. Now, gonna take some of the excess that was on this brush when we did our face. Gonna pat that in. Smooth out that wrinkle. Down, wrinkle, down, wrinkle. And there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. Okay. Ah, got it. The wet and wild. I shot a palette in fire. Fire, fire. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. And of course you know it but see how many just oh yeah and I forgot about that orangey coppery shade and this kind of hazelnutty almost uh caramely shade so yeah we're gonna see what we can do we're gonna try to do it up just a little bit more dramatic this time because the other thing I bought is another I should have brush I think I think overall you could use about four different ones um <clears throat> And this one was three bucks. It's an e.l.f. I would prefer and I would suggest, now e.l.f. makes great brushes, don't get me wrong. Um, there's many of them that I use to this day, every day. But I think when it comes to eyeshadow brushes, you'd be better off to go get a Real Techniques um, collection or in just their individual ones. But really they have a nice collection that's like $15 and it's a bit of an investment, but if you wanted to do this right and do with real good, just, ah, uh, words, well. If you're wanting to do this well, invest. Invest just a bit. Also, real techniques are good ones, and so is, one more second, grabbing the other brush. Uh, so, there's more if you make good brushes. 
I buy Morphe brushes individually. Uh, admittedly, I can't really afford a set. I can probably once or twice a year, but not very often. But um, they do make good brushes. So, see, another elf brush. And I do have two of these already that I use constantly. I use them up for a moment. Brow bone, brow, blah, 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 blah. brow bone. Sometimes I use them as a highlight. Um, sometimes I use them right here to do this little contouring at the corner of the eye. So many different uses. So, okay, I am going to take this caramely shade that we kind of adopted as caramel. <laughs> and I'm going to take this $1 e.l.f. brush that we got. And I'm just going to rub that all over my eyes. Really from about the center of the lid all the way past the crease. Because I have been doing this thing. Because before, I'd only take it that high. And when my eyelid is up, you can't see it really. <clears throat> I've been taking it just a little higher. Almost all the way up to the brow. Um, I've heard someone, I think Mika Tutorial said this. And a couple other people said this. Um, I just can't think of anybody else at the moment. My brain is spazzy. Bad brain. Bad brain. But um, they suggested this. And I like it. Because you can see the eyeshadow look even when my eyes are fully open. I don't have to go, see my eyes? They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Because <laughs> everybody walks around like that. Yeah, if everybody walked around like that, we'd never, we'd be accident prone. That would be an interesting world. Okay. Doing the same to the other eye. Doing the same to the other eye. I can hold a tune. You just don't know. And I'm thinking, as we played with one of the most tame shades in the palette, I am thinking honestly, because this is why I bought this brush, I want to blend this out. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, not uber great, but uber great. Uber's a company. Not super great, but still, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Let's see how it blends if I use this. Because I was thinking that one doesn't do a real great job at blending. I wondered if they carried, and I did actually look between this one, White and Wild, and a couple other company, or affordable brands, and really, I mean, Flower makes a great one for eight bucks. It would have taken up the whole $10 budget, and I wanted to get the contour stick, so you never know. In a later day, this might be what we get, though. I do kind of like this. I'm not going to lie. I think, <laughs> side note. I have not used any of the products that I've bought for these challenges outside of the challenges, except for this bunch. I like this bunch. So we will see. But I just think, yeah, I like it. I think I will be using this one more often. Just want to see what it does. Okay. <clears throat> I am looking, deciding between this one, this one, and this one for the base, for the lid. I'm really focused on this one, and then maybe with a dot of this one in the center lid. I think that's what I'm going to do. I want something a bit more dramatic. See, this is where this one is going to come in handy. I'm going to use this one to buff that out. Oh, yeah. I mean, I will admit, I am, as you know, three feet from the mirror. But it seems to be working well. Goes back and forth. 
making sure you can see what I'm doing too. And then looks in the mirror, looks in the viewfinder. I am totally giving you a documentary or what do they call it? Um, narration of what I'm doing. <laughs> See? Do you see it? Sorry. I swear. I swear. I swear. Don't eat me. Sorry. I like that. I do like a deep red. Shoot. So you will see it in a few days on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I would love it if you would. Simply because I would, I do a lot of, I do do a lot of makeup looks right now as I've said in prior videos I'm doing the hundred looks with one palette and right now I'm using the um, James Charles Morphe palette and I'm actually loving it the colors are pigmented I do do my eyes first when I'm doing something like this anyway I do do my eyes first I do do I do do I do do I do what all I'm kidding I am so kidding I am just a little I have nothing to drink, I swear, nothing to drink, or I'm not smoking on anything. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do my eyes first when I do a more dramatic look like this. But that's all right, life, right, life. And this is where I almost have to look again. Yep, we got that up a little higher on that eye. So we'll just go in. Just going in a little bit in that same red color. And I'm just going to bring it just a little higher. Now, that pinkish shade it's going to have two functions. <clears throat> Doctor's on the way. I promise you. May not be till next year. Doctor's on the way. We are going to place. I just still so much more on that side. Yeah. We're going to just press. Do a little bit of light blending with that pinkish color. I've been on a red trend. If you do check out my Instagram, you'll see I've been on a red trend. I think like red and coppery's, like six out of seven looks in the last few months have been this red color. Still trying to keep it just on the inside of the brat bone. I think you will like how this turns out in the end. Right now, it may look a little more on the side, but trust me. Trust me. Okay, I do want a place. I'm gonna have to use this one. And what I do, my color switcher, it's not a $20 color switcher. It is basically a quarter color switcher. switcher. This is a folded up piece of toilet paper. I just rub it, 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 until, for the most part, It wraps clean. Still not yet. Yep, see? That's where we're at. Almost nothing on it. Okay, yeah, put it right in front of the camera. It's all good. <coughs> you can't see it. It's out of your range. All right, I'm gonna go in that pink. We'll pop that on the center lid. This whole palette is shimmery. That is one downfall about this palette. It's all shimmers. That 
caramely color and the um, deep chocolate brown color seem to be the most or I should say the least shimmery but you can still tell they have some shimmer to it so maybe next time yep I do plan on doing this again and I am so excited about it but I'm also very excited about my next project my next series I am very much looking forward to doing this and I think you guys will like it I hope so it's gonna be informative and it doesn't it's not gonna be I've actually already talked about it but it's not gonna be informative in the way that's gonna make you feel stupid you know it'll be more like oh yeah I knew that but oh wow cool yeah so you'll see you'll see you'll see you'll see because believe me this series is close to my heart as in so many things I'm like oh yeah so we'll get there we'll get there we got about <clears throat> six more weeks maybe a little more maybe more like ten yeah no, that's four more <laughs> but as we do these every two weeks I'm going all the way up to 120 we are at 80 so I got 90 100 110 and 120 I think that makes six weeks <laughs> I can do math <laughs> I'm going to do this just under the high, uh, just under the zip brow, the brow bone, that's what it's called, just kind of clean it up a little, make it a little less, yep, yeah. not bad, still long distance away, I'm going to, I'm, it is on my agenda to get a little one of those little, you know, mirrors on a pedestal that swing, 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 yeah, you know. One side is, you get it, you get it. One side is magnifying, the other side is regular, so. I'm going to do a dot of. We are almost done with this eye look. It's good, because it's been 21 minutes just doing this. Sorry. I do want to. I don't think I'm going to, yeah. I don't think so. I always do, but I don't think I'm going to this time. I don't think I'm going to take a dark shade on that. I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I have a funny feeling. I did want to put a little pop of this. Ooh, yeah. I like how that looks. I simply wanted to make it a little less red right there. Totally, yeah, totally in my face, like not gonna happen. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't figure out how to do it and not hide my face. Knocked <coughs> over the loofa. I'm just going to take a little bit of that pinky color versus the red and I'm going to soften that just a bit. Okay, almost, and then I'm going to turn this camera off and finish it up off camera. Don't mess what I just did. Counter, counter. All right, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be back. And we're back with a full face of makeup. Ta -da. Ta -da. Yep, I'm gonna do that again. So sorry. But, um, so concealer and eyeshadow um, brush. Got it. <laughs> I think I really do like this look. Okay, 
so ignore the brows oh my god yeah no just just you know ignore the brows ignore them ignore them uh i just i yeah we're working on the brows it's a work in progress and i'm not happy with some days i'm happy with it some days i'm not some days i'm like oh wow but other days i'm like oh yeah that's that's nice that's pretty good no not today but i like how it turned out overall <laughs> overall so um yeah that's it for this video and yeah don't forget to comment down below subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you're liking these videos i like doing them i like making videos i do and i would probably do just makeup because I love to write, but it's hard to share things about my writing. I mean, I share my books all day, but I'm afraid my audience, you guys will get just get bored with it. But um, makeup, I think it's something we can connect on. It's something we can say, yeah, yeah whatever. But anyway, I can make makeup videos all day long. I just, I love making them. I just think I don't want to get bore you guys. So anyway. That's it for today's video. You guys have a great day. I am off. We're going to Walgreens. We're going to Taco Bell. That's it. But I'm off. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.